I read that Macbeth is a wonderful comedy if you're a witch and a tragedy if you're anyone else. They're having a lot of fun, the witches. And I thought, well, why shouldn't I make it a playground? So I wanted to do this thing where they can scale up the walls and then the singers give them critters. They give them dead rats and severed braids and snakes they put in their mouths and then they climb down and throw them into the cauldron. New York has Broadway and the Metropolitan Opera, but Los Angeles is actually a great place to be a scene painter. Not only is there a ton of TV here, but there is a pretty vibrant theater and opera scene, even if it doesn't draw tourists the way New York does. So when we got the chance to visit with the LA Opera and learn about what goes into their sets and meet their scene painters, we jumped at the chance. What are the challenges for the scene painters? What are you asking them to do that's interesting and challenging? The set is a huge single plane and the wall actually tips towards the audience, you know, so that actually everything has a feeling as if it's plunging into the theater. And I wanted the surface to feel kind of corroded. So if you look at ships that have been abandoned, or if you look at some huge industrial sculptures when they get some age on them. That's the idea, to make it look kind of metallic. So it's a lot of detail, and then trying to make it look like a huge work of art, in a sense, like a painting. We're out here on the streets of Los Angeles, and you are actually painting the sets for Macbeth out here. I have been told these are called the bobbleheads. So tell us a little bit about the bobbleheads. Well, we have an amazing costume shop that sort of uh, constructed and put these uh, for the EC back here together. And uh, what we're doing now is they kind of gave us an example or a sample of one of their painted ones, and we're kind of taking a note from that and kind of moving forward and painting the rest of them, sort of the process that they've given us. What are these going to be used for? Does that matter when you're painting them? It certainly does, because we have to consider the actors who are going to be in them, what kind of paints we're using. Victor, you're holding a paintbrush. It's a Fitch brush. and. We use it for highlights and creating details on the heads. And we can also use it for anything else as well. How are the details of scene painting different from the kind of painting that any of our viewers might have done in their bathroom or in their house? And when you're painting your bathroom or something like that, you're kind of up close and you see those things. But you have to imagine going 30 feet back or so and how that's going to sort of read to the audience. This is our artistic painting, and it's very much into theatrical painting, they call it. And also, most of the painting is not only theatrical, but also is used in television. You're out here working on under bright sunlight, and that's going into a theater. It's going to be under stage lights. How do you compensate for that? I mean, that's one thing that me and Victor have to think about when we were actually out in the you know San Fernando Valley painting in direct sunlight. We got the morning light coming up, the afternoon lights are. It's completely changing as we go. So, you know, we've done these kind of things before. So we sort of try and compensate for the shadow and the light inside of the theater. So you're trying to make the colors pop a little bit more. In the course of constructing this set and then painting this set, how much time? did you have? We had about two and a half days for each wall, which, you know, I mean, it's a huge wall. So, you know, we didn't have the designer in really until, you know, maybe the second day. So we just kind of had to come up with something quick that thought he would like and be able to sort of adjust from there. So we get it on stage and then we can kind of work with the designer once he sees it under lights. And if he wants to push or pull some of the colors, you know, that's where it really starts to happen is once we get it in the theater. Be bold with the colors. Be bold so they can be seen please click like, share this video, and tell us what you think in the comments. We love making these videos, and that's how you can help us keep on making them. For more on theater design, click on the box on the left to see Tony winner Clint Ramos on his designs for Eclipsed. For more on production design, click on the box on the right to see Deborah Riley on the sets for Game of Thrones. To never miss an Artisans video, click on the subscribe button. That'll sign you up for the Variety Channel. There's a new Artisans video every week, so come back soon. Thanks for watching.